if you are an avid golfer, the words Titleist Pro V1 and Titleist Pro V1X will mean a lot to you. The words Titleist Pro V1 Star, however, may not mean as much. Well, prepare to have your socks blown off because in today's video, that's exactly what we have. The top secret, Titleist Pro V1 Star, is this a golf ball that could transform your game? Have Titleist been keeping this a huge secret from everyone? Or is this just another golf ball that could confuse the heck out of most golfers? Today, we're going to test it both out here on the golf course and in the Golf Sun studio. Let's find out. Wait, 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 hold up. So I was searching for this brand new Titleist Pro V1 Star Golf Ball on the internet and one came up on eBay for $126. That's over £100 and that is for one golf ball by itself. That is insane. The Titleist know this is going on. Who on earth has put this golf ball on? They've put it on as a Titleist PGA Tour pre-owned golf ball and is listed at £100. Wow, guys, stay tuned. You want to see just how this golf ball performs for that kind of price. It's a good fly, a very stiff swing, but for a rarity. Yes, guys, that's right. In today's video, we have the top secret Titleist Pro V1 Star Golf Ball. We're going to play a match with it today here at Waterfront Golf Club using this top secret ball, two PJ Pros battling out head to head. Could this ball be an absolute game changer for you? Why are Titleist keeping this a secret from us all? And we're going to test it in the Golf Sun Simulator as well using Iron and Driver to see if this ball really could redefine your golf game, my golf game, and again, why is it so top secret? Let's get out there. Interesting. I mean, one thing I didn't like about the Pro V1X is it found it, it, it founded. It sounded quite hard off the irons, especially when it was chipping and putting. So interesting with this one, how it reacts. A perfect ball flight. Stayed nice and low. Did sound a little bit firmer than a Pro V1, which is what I do use. And the sound was the big thing why I changed. Right, so we have both come up short on the par five. You can see that I am on the fairway here with the Pro V1 star. So I'm going to see if I can get that extra green side spin. We're uphill and into the wind, so it should help out here with that. That's one thing which I think a lot of golfers would like. More green side spin should mean more control. Struck that really well. Yeah, it did spin up a little bit, probably caught me out actually, which is what a lot of golfers would find if they got a ball with extra green side spin. You might come up short, definitely something you'd need to practice and use properly and not play like I've done there and leave yourself, well, 10 feet as opposed to maybe running it out more. Chris, what have you got? I've got pitching wedge. So you're not really playing for the extra spin, you're just playing. I want to see how it obviously sounds and feels off this because a lot of people play bump and runs. It is that little bit firmer. How's that going to affect it? So it certainly sounded, it wasn't the best strike, I will ad admit that, but it sounded a little bit harder than the normal Pro V1. Certainly sounded a little bit, little bit <laughs> it sounded a little bit more clicky. So if you are thinking of this as a custom option, you are probably a very good player. You're probably uh, working with Titleist, would you say, with the golf ball, rather yeah. than just being a customer? Yeah, exactly. So you're probably looking to get it exactly for your golf ball. You might be a low single figure, well, an elite player, some would say. So it's definitely getting the feel and sound and trying to get that spin with your irons. And that's it was a tour player who did give us these golf balls. Yeah, so on the box it does say the Pro V1 star golf balls are designed for players seeking the penetrating flight of a Pro V1 with much higher iron spin and green side spin, as well as a firmer feel. The Pro V1 star is a Titleist customised performance option designed to fit players with very unique launch conditions. So really, it's not for the everyday golfer, Chris. It is not. But certainly something worth thinking about if you are incredibly consistent and know what you're looking for from a ball. Yeah, exactly. If you're trying to dial it in, trying to save those little shots, if you're off a low thing, uh, a low single figure handicap, then it could be the ball for you. Good, good putter. Giveaway on my channel now, guys. Go check it out. Oh, three hundred and seventy-five dollars. That bargain. 
So guys, we are obviously going to test these out here in the golf course in a match play scenario, but we're also going to test them on the golf sand simulator with driver and irons just to see what the big difference is between this Pro V1 Star and a standard Pro V1. Is there going to be a huge difference? Should you be using the Pro V1 Star? Is it the answer and everyone keeping it a little bit hush hush? Or is it just another golf ball using the good, good putter? I'm going to give it a go. Right. Fan of the alignment aids, I've not marked that, but I'll not move it too far. Just look like a standard Titleist Pro V1, just with obviously the star logo on. I'd be amazed to know how many people would potentially use this ball just because it's different, it has a star on it. True, there was, obviously they brought out last year, I think they brought out the, the left dot ball. Left the, dash. Left, left, left dash, dot. yeah. So there's plenty of golf balls out there now. Oh, burnt the edge. Standard Pro V1 goes in there. It does, it feels... Oh That's not good either. Oh dear. No. Jake, good, good. <laughs> Certainly does sound... firmer. Right, this for a birdie, and I'm interested to see just how firm this feels, because it feels too firm for me with a putter. It could give me extra spin with wedges, it could give me that extra ball flight window, but I'd have to be comfortable putting with it, otherwise... It'd be a bit of a non-starter for me. Oh, pace. Did feel a bit firm, like you said. I'll take it that's not good. De definitely not if mine wasn't. We'll see that in. That's how a ball can catch you out. I know there is a... That wasn't the ball, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, that was you, James. I was trying to you know, be generous there with you. But there's also a new Pro V1X out, which is a dash ball closest to Pro V1, so a lot of close options. Too many options Too for many. me. Yeah. And this is probably why titleists keep these a little bit secret, because in the hands of the average golfer, should we say, probably just confuse yourself a little bit more than you need to, I think. So guys, interestingly enough on the box, it does claim about a firmer feel with this ball. And if you listen to that, I must say, it does feel one of the firmer balls. Even the AVX for me is quite a firm golf ball. But this could be very similar to the AVX. When you think about the amount of options now Titleist have in that higher echelon of ball, we have the Pro V1, the Pro V1X, the AVX, the Pro V1 Star, the Pro V1 Less Dash, the Pro V1 Less Dot. I'm not sure entirely which ones are still in the lineup and which ones aren't, but I certainly feel there's probably too many. So where this ball could help is say if you're using a distance iron, you're using a hollow bodied iron and you're wanting a little bit more spin with those mid irons, yet you still want a low spin ball off the tee, this could potentially help. I'm sure the differences are minimal, but it could be a little bit of a help if you struggle with spin drop off with a power iron. Right, come on. It's not the best strike I've ever had, but it's bang on line. Test it around the green. Oh, there's a strike. That's better. Could it be a one? Oh! Oh! I mean, it was ridiculously close. It was insanely one, it? close. You can see how short mine is. That must have lipped out, Chris. Well, I've still never had a hole in one, fans. If that would have gone in, would you have tried to get more of these? Just for the sake just, of it? Yeah, just for the memorabilia, to be honest. I mean, it's been how many years? It's been a good 18 years of playing golf with no hole in one, so yeah. Oh, Chris, I can't believe how close that was. It's danced around. It the has hole. danced around the hole, you're right. So, we yeah, we talk about more spin with mid irons. I mean, with an eight iron there, that's a pretty good amount of spin because there's no real wind to say to help him with that stop, and it is a pretty flat green as well. Test the spin then around the green, James. Yeah, this is a shot where I would think this ball would help me because you do just want quite a bit of stoppage here, ideally. So much so, I'll quickly clean my grooves. Going for the spinner, Chris. Right. We're waiting. Oh, plenty of grip there. I really enjoyed that. And I don't know if that's like a kind of placebo effect as to, right, I know it's going to spin, so as long as I get the technique right, it's going to do it. But I think, uh, I think that's helped me there, certainly. That's a par. Good three, sir. Thank you. This is, however, to go one up. One up, and it's live. Second whirl of how it feels off the putter, which for me, most important place it wants to feel good is off the short game, because every golfer 
There's a lot of puts and chips. Oh, it's delightful. It's a Deserved a two of that. Um, steady two, still not a one, but did feel and did sound a lot louder than the normal Pro V1. This is one up, but we do play Ready Golf on this channel, so I'm on the tee, I'm going to go. So I really like the fact that on the, on the box, it doesn't say anything about driver spin, driver speed, distance. It is more about the artistry of the game, the spin rates, the iron spin, green side control. Do you lose anything with driver though? I think it's fair to say not. We certainly will see. That one, but yeah, it's good to see a golf ball that's focusing around your scoring clubs. Yep. I mean, a driver does help you score better, but into it, the green, sitting it closer is going to be, is going to help you again. If you hit one more green in regulation, you're likely to say potentially up to a shot. So that's going to lower your handicap more than walloping your driver another five yards. Nice. A little bit lower. Yeah, nice. It, feel, it certainly feels great off the driver. I don't feel any difference off the driver. You see, I think there's a, a broader conversation to have here because this isn't a ball that's marketed towards the masses. The company probably doesn't feel the need to say, right, this goes further. It gets you more ball speed, more driver speed and longer. If this was marketed towards the masses, I guarantee there would be something there about ball speed, about distance, because that's sexy and it sells. But the fact that the player is going to go into this because he knows kind of what he wants, isn't that interesting? Yeah, it is. It just shows how that's a niche market for people wanting to score better, which normally are the better players, as silly as it is. I'm surprised these come in an actual Titleist Pro V1 box and not just a plain white box, Ooh. so the players know. Are you? I am surprised, yeah, because you're not going to see them very often if someone sees that, but that might be the intrigue of, if you're a mid-handicapper and you see this, you might go, oh, I'll give those a go. Nice comment below. Have you ever seen this box in your local pro shop or in where you buy your golf balls from? Right, two missed fairways here, more so because of the distance than the line. I thought the line was good, but that ball's gone a pretty long way, so I'd be happy with that, definitely. I've got an A tying in. That'll be good. Love that ball flight, very controlled. Oh, it's just long. Good shot, though. Yeah, fantastic window for that ball flight, very enjoyable. Right, wedge. Chris is lucky not to be in the ditch, we will add that to the match. Has that got to travel? No, it should be good. Oof, even longer than mine. Bit of a flyer, no spin whatsoever, and there is plenty of flies knocking around, isn't there? I'll See, that's a shot you probably wouldn't anticipate with that ball because it's designed to have more spin, so. Yeah. Being caught out there, just a touch, we've both gone. Ever slightly long, but just be in the fairway, Chris, and you don't have that problem. That's very true. Very, very true. Slug. That is another missed green, which doesn't bode well, um, per se, for my ball striking abilities. I'm going to try and play a little spinner again, I think, with the wedge. Yeah. So both pitch long, so. Not bad. I mean, realistically, there, we've just hit it too far, though, haven't we? Yeah. It's stopped okay, but it's come through the wind a bit. Yeah, both stop within probably two to three yards, which you'd be more than happy with. Just the wrong club. Are you thinking about spin here, Chris? Or? No, so I'm going to try and play this one again, just run it out and start to see like how this firmer, I know it says more spin, but it just throws me a little bit with the firmer case or firmer feel. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to control the spin on that kind of shot. Again, not bad. Almost like an oxymoron, firmer feel but more green side spin. Yeah, and this is where people go, which golf ball should I use? They read that pack and they say, well, it's firmer, but it gets more spin. But if it's firmer, will it come off faster? How do I get the spin? And this is why it's probably directed towards elite players who still probably get confused with that. Right, let's see James's spinner. Downhill slope, so it's going to come out a little bit lower. Try and get some... didn't bite that one, did it? I didn't mind it, actually. Yeah, it, it did have a little bit of a jump if you saw it, yeah. so I've left myself an uphill put. I feel like I've done everything right there, to be honest. Not bad. A bit negative, really. It's a Wednesday, Chris. Calm down. Well, I'll give you that, then. I'll, I'll pick your mood <laughs> up. Right, it'd be a shame to follow up that two with a, uh, a bogey. Say mine's good? Yes, feeling generous. Oh, 
absolutely slid by. Right guys, let's jump in the studio, let's see just how this Titleist Pro V1 Star does compare to a standard Titleist Pro V1. Then we're going to settle it out here with a massive, huge, long drive contest. Ooh. Okay, so testing a golf ball out on the golf course is all good and well, but you do want to see just how it performs in the simulator for numbers, for ball speed, for spin rate, and for everything else. For me, with the 7 iron, I didn't really tell a difference in the ball flight window I was looking for. I hit loads of shots on the golf sun simulator, and I was specifically looking at that ball flight window. Um, as you can see, some shots were better than others, but I didn't really see a difference. I could feel a massive difference. It felt a lot firmer, something which I wasn't too pleased with, to be honest. I don't like a really, really firm feeling golf ball, but if we do look at the numbers for the 7 iron, you'll see very, very, very similar. To be honest, if you're looking at these numbers, difference in ball speed and in spin rate, that is obviously a slight difference in strike, probably strike position on the face, and then carry distance, both around kind of 165 to 170, which I would expect. Then moving into the driver, I absolutely nailed a couple of these drivers. Really nice, low penetrating flight, but interestingly, that isn't what this golf ball is designed to do. Some really nice distances there, as you can see, but it didn't, again, kind of show any real differences. It felt a little bit firmer. It sounded a little bit harder. I'm not going to show you loads of driver swings because you don't need to see them. Let's get to the numbers. So you can see, again, very, very similar. I think it is probably just a slight difference in strike. I am not a machine. This isn't robot testing. This is human testing. Again, two or three yards in it. I think that's probably going to be down to strike. A very, very good performing golf ball. Certainly up there with the Pro V1, as you would expect, as it being the number one ball in golf, in inverted brackets very very similar i don't think i'm good enough to see a difference personally so very very similar numbers there on the golf sun simulator using both a standard pro v1 and a pro v1 star and i think this is why the ball isn't being marketed well or at all because so many golfers would just see the same results we're not consistent enough or i'm no, not no exactly you're gonna get to see pretty much exactly the same we don't return the club the same t every single time your six iron might have a little bit more loft on one time a little bit off next time so even if it says it gives us more spin if you're returning different loft you're not going to see the difference and that's like maybe James on a machine said. and for the people in the comments i bet there'll be one guy so longest drive james longest drive let's get the rules in play first does it have to be a fairway or nope. going longest? just longest right just longest just with the pro v1 star these are your balls i'm going to say winner keeps them though because I, oh. I quite fancy having them for the collection Interesting, Chris has gone for the fade. It stayed a touch left. I should have definitely said a fairway countered. Hmm, it didn't quite come back, did it? We have to make sure we set the rules first because uh, it's often controversial. I'm going to go down the right side and turn it. Oh. <laughs> Higher ball flight might not get any run. That's all I can pray for right now. Plugged and lost. <laughs> Star ball lives on. That is ridiculous. There's no way you're claiming that, not in the hazard. And also, she's past James's all the way back there. So that's a victory. And I will keep Are you balls. honestly happy with that? Uh, it's longest. We set the rules out early. That's ridiculous. 